The first leg of our journey would find us with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, specifically Dr. Joseph Love, program manager of the Freshwater Fisheries Program, and fish biologist Josh Neward. These guys spent the morning electrofishing for snakeheads, and I was dying to ask them some questions. I've asked a few different people, gas stations, the bait shop, if this was salt or fresh water, nobody's answering me with a direct answer. Everything is like, well, kind of, sort of, this or that. I need to know if I have to flush the motor. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> so what we're fishing in right now is an estuary. And that estuary is fed by the Atlantic Ocean. So we have a direct access point at the mouth of Chesapeake Bay to the Atlantic Ocean. Right now it's spring. We've gotten a lot of rains. We just had some rains this past weekend. Yeah follows the winter, so there's snowpack melt and all of it comes down, down river. And so that's diluting this water that we're, that, that we're fishing in today, right? If you were to have to pick a team, you would say that the base here is salt water, but all of the runoff from all of the fresh water coming in here dilutes it so that it, the salinity is always fluctuating. Does that make it perfect for some species or awful for everything? Because it's neither fresh nor salt then. Species that live here are very tolerant uh, to those changes throughout the year. We have some species during the summer that come in when the water is saltier, like some shark and, and redfish, bluefish. So you can be bass so, fishing, catch bass, and then go up a little bit and catch a redfish. You could. That's good. <laughs> you could, depending on the, the time of year. This extremely unique ecosystem is at risk because the snakehead is out competing native fish for food. And quite honestly, straight up just eating native fish. So to help stop the spread, the Maryland DNR is implementing a tagging program to gather scientific data and incentivize fishermen. Um, we're tagging them so that way we can determine what harvest levels are out here. So the way the tags work, they have an individual number. It's got our phone number on it. They call our office. They report the fish and then they actually get a reward. Um, so these yellow tags are $10 reward tags and we have high uh, reward tags which are worth $200. And that is to encourage people to come out here and harvest snakehead. So you're like, okay, I know that if we're, if we're tagging, you know, a hundred fish, okay, and then we get a call over the course of the year on 20 of those fish being harvested, then we believe roughly, as far as how many fish are in this area, it's likely roughly 20% are being caught overall. Where would you say we are in the arc right now? Like, oh, they're on their way down now, or it's like, oh, we're starting to make a dent, or if we can just do this, we'll get to the point where things start trending downward. Where are we in the, in the catastrophe level? We're kind of in that last piece. So, you know, if we can keep encouraging people to harvest them, and we try to, like, ideally, we're trying to maintain a population that will minimize the impacts of snakehead, right? We're probably not gonna eradicate them. We're, we've kind of accepted that. After we tagged and released the three snakehead the DNR team caught that morning, we took the electro fishing boat out so Jeff and I could give it a try. Basically the way the electro fishing boat works is we're putting current into the water and we have on the boat what's cathode and anode with positive, negative, just like a battery. You got two ends. So we have our anodes out there. You're the so, negative end. <laughs> there you go. And then the mm -hmm. electricity will run between that and our cathode skirt here. Our electrical field is about six foot off of either boom here. We're chasing mud plumes. Um, you definitely want to make sure you always have your foot on the pedal. So this is a dead man's switch, meaning that if you were to fall off, the electricity would then turn off and you know, you'd be okay. As long as your body turns off. As long as your off. body <laughs> also, that's right. What? I can't hear you. Let me lean closer. You're yelling. Stop yelling. <laughs> we can always re-dunk you to restart your heart. It's okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> we electrofished for a few hours and saw just about every species other than a snakehead. But finally, I spotted a big one. There it is. Got it. Nice, nice, dude. <laughs> That's big. a nice one. That's a little bigger than the other one. That is big. Wow. It looks like he did chewing tobacco for the last 15 years. Yeah. Yeah, he got Something. the cancer. <laughs> Something's wrong there on that side. That's his bad side. That's his How bad side. Cool. There you go. <laughs> That's a big one there. So you're now getting six, seven, eight pounds. Up that there. is so cool. Right the live well. Yeah, even oh. his mouth's a little tore up. That's what you know it looks what? Like. I don't see you guys with one, and you're just picking on mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is so. Oh, there you go. I'll say, I'm gonna jump right out back at you. Wow, that was neat. <laughs>